Hi, my name is Jason, and I'm so glad that you're with us today. Today we're going to be showing you guys, you know, a lot of times when we stamp concrete, obviously everybody knows there's a lot of variables that go into it, you know, just whether it was in the shade, uh, you know, a full sun, you know, what time of year it was, the, depending on all those things can determine, you know, a lot of the how the uh, much release agent sticks to the slab. Um, and what I've been doing for the last probably 10 years is um, using one of these buffing machines and these green grub pads on a buffer and buffing the, the surface of this. And the, the reason that I really like this is because it only hits the high spots and it leaves the darker spots, you know, in the, uh, in the lower crevices and, and things of the, uh, of the stamp. We almost use this on every single job. Um, I always take this out when, I, when we're detailing something or when we're, um, you know, finishing something to hit it, you do a final wash anyway. So if you just run this over top of the whole area first, um, it really does make a difference uh, with how much release comes off. And a lot of guys will just pressure wash this or just like lightly scrub it. And I see so many pictures and stuff of people where you there's way too much release on the slab yet. And that can actually cause a bond break between the sealer and the concrete. So by getting more of the release off, you're really dramatically um, lowering the chances of that happening. We're gonna wet the substrate down. We always wanna have water on it when we're doing this. Uh, it's not good to do this dry. It doesn't work as good. Um, and you gotta be careful too. There's different sizes of pads for this thing or different, I guess, grits of them. So each one, just know what you're doing with these pads. You know, it could be different throughout the country as far as like, you know, which pad does what. I don't, I don't know, I just know the ones we get around here. Uh, usually the green one works good, but if you're trying to do this like the next day, you know, maybe you want to use a white one, which that, that's a lot less aggressive. This technique can also help if you're trying to even out, let's say you had two pores and you're trying to even out the color from one to the other, you know, either buffing it or using that, uh, you know, gentle muriatic acid wash on it can really help to blend two slabs together also. So I'm just gonna go, when I run this thing, I'm just gonna run it back and forth. So you, as you can tell, this particular, I buffed this area. Now Mario's gonna come over here and wash this off. You can kind of see uh, just how much of a difference that, that makes within this lab. So you can see how much more vibrant the color is on this side compared to uh, you know what we got going you know over here where we haven't ran the buffer yet. Using a floor buffer on a stamp patio is a really easy thing to do and they're pretty inexpensive also. I think the one that we're using today probably costs around uh, seven or eight hundred dollars and you can also rent them at your local rental yard. I mean they every single rental place in America probably has has those to rent so uh, it's a real easy thing to do so I hope you enjoyed that today and I really appreciate everybody that, that's watching this video and I just want to say a couple things about Technique of the Week. The big reason why I started this was just to help this industry. This is an industry that's been awesome to me. It's blessed me and my family and I, I just wanted to take a second to, to thank all you guys that, that are watching this. Um, and, the, and the big reason why I did this, a lot of people ask me that, you know, why are you doing Technique of the Week? Why are you showing all these tricks and stuff? Uh, it's to help this industry. I really believe like if everybody's doing good work, that it helps everybody. And I, I really think that, um, that you know, some of these things, you know, you're not gonna be able to, to use all these, or you probably, you know, a lot of you guys probably already know some of these things, but, you know, I really think that, you know, it's helping people that, uh, that might not have access to, to this type of information. So um, I really, again, thank you so much for watching, and uh, hopefully you watch next time. Thanks.